Hurricane sucks up its energy from the warm ocean. Enough to power winds of 150 miles an hour. But Peter thinks the biggest clue is that hurricanes always move from warmer to cooler areas of the Earth. He believes that storms on both Jupiter and Earth are doing exactly the same job. Air conditioning the planets, regulating their temperature. When you go to a, f a full, fully featured planet, there has to be a source of energy, a fuel for all the, all the motions you see. That fuel is heat. It's the heat of the sun, or it's the heat boiling up out of the core of the planet. What the storms do, they take the, the heat out of the hot zones to the cold regions. It's, it's an air conditioning system, a gas conditioning system, which carries heat out of the tropics of the Earth or of Jupiter to the poles and then sends it out to space. In goes the North Pole. The model is missing something. It needs a polar region made of crushed ice to create the temperature difference that Jupiter has and that its storms need. It's actually coming, doing very well. Suddenly, Peter's planet is teeming with storms, just like the surface of Jupiter. All the storms look very stable, but they can't all last forever. There is only one great red spot on Jupiter. Then Peter realized something amazing is happening. The storms are eating each other. In a rapidly rotating planet like Jupiter, the eddies can't move north or south. They have to, they have to jostle each other like, like ball bearings in a raceway. They can increase their lifetime grow older, last longer, they've lasted hundreds of years, by competing with each other and actually gobbling each other up. The, the engine is turned up faster and they compete for space. And one of them wins and it lasts almost forever. And uh, that's your great red spot. The Great Red Spot is the solar system's greatest predator, a storm that eats hurricanes. It dominates Jupiter like no single storm has ever done on Earth, or any other planet we know of. Everything about it is extreme. A single storm big enough to swallow the Earth whole. A storm raging unchecked for over 300 years, but a storm that obeys the same laws as our own weather. Jupiter is, in some ways, a simple model of Earth. I think ever since we had the really close encounters with Voyager flybys and we had these stunning images of the red spot, that the simplicity of it is, is wonderful and beautiful. And that many of us think that that's, that's a piece of the Earth's action laid out before us. By studying how this simple storm moves heat around Jupiter, we may learn how to predict the path of hurricanes on Earth, because the Great Red Spot is the most predictable storm there is, a monster that devours everything in its path. <laughs>